Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Charles from Channel Books on Stereo, and I've been filming a lot today, so I'm really tired, but I wanted to talk to you guys about some amazing YA um, books that I have recently read and loved that I definitely think that you guys should go out and check out because they're absolutely amazing. Now, this is a little bit of a detour because I do read other genres outside of romance, but I am prim primarily a romance channel, so I get it. This may be a shocking video, but I do like my YA every now and then. So first up, we have Concrete Rose by Angie Thomas. I love Angie Thomas. I love anything that this author writes, and this is actually a prequel to The Hate You Give. You don't have to read The Hate You Give to understand what's going on in this book. This tells a story completely on its own. There are some references and some nods to some of the characters in The Hate You Give because we're following the parents of the hate you give but I love this book this is a very interesting and nuanced portrayal of a black man that I haven't seen done quite yet in YA literature so I absolutely love this one and then up next I have the taking of Jack Livingston by Ryan Douglas and this um, just came out this year um, this is a YA horror novel so it's not into body horror so don't worry about that one it's more of like a ghost possession type horror novel and this is like almost like get out but the YA version of get out and this is definitely black and definitely queer which is really cool Cool. And essentially in this book, we basically follow our main character, Jake. Um, he is a, I don't know what year he is in high school, but he's in high school and he is able to communicate with ghosts. And he finds that this kind of vengeful spirit is trying to take over his body. So I won't get into too much of the ghost backstory because I think it's really kind of fun to kind of figure out um, what exactly is going on with the ghost. But this one is really a great read. I read it in one day, absolutely loved it. Up next, I have The Hollow Crowns Duet by Zoraida Cordova. Book one is Incendiary and book two is Illusionary. Now this is kind of like your um, very typical um, YA fantasy duology. You basically set in this like fantastical world um, where you have the chosen one trope and then our hero or our heroine in this case needs to basically overthrow like the overlord or tyrant of this kingdom to restore peace and harmony to the kingdom. Now, even though the story and the idea is a little bit overdone in the YA space, it's a world building and the magic system that is um, implemented in this book that really makes it feel fresh and new. Then up next we have Darius the Great is Not Okay, and then we also have the sequel Darius the Great Deserves Better, both by Adib Karam. And if you haven't read these books, this essentially follows a young Persian teen uh, who's male and also queer. And in the first book, he's really kind of struggling to figure out who he is and figure out his own identity. So it's actually his family takes him back to Persia to meet his mother's father, um, who was failing in health. And through that experience, he gets to learn more about himself, deepen his connection to his father because he also suffers from chronic depression, same like his father. And just kind of him coming to terms with who he is and who he is in relationship to in relationship to the world if that makes any sense now in the second book this book has has like major sex education vibes and this one we find Darius going through his first relationship so he has his first boyfriend in high school and he meets another guy that kind of throws things out of whack with his current boyfriend and it's him trying to figure out who he wants to be with while also just kind of growing in himself and learning more about himself and these books are like Pretty much, I would say these are going to be classics in the YA genre because they're just that good. If you haven't read these books, I absolutely love these books. You guys need to definitely go read these books like ASAP. And then we have one of my favorite authors, if you can kind of see the cover, and this is Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon. This is her latest book, and oh my goodness, I don't even know how to describe this book, but on, so on a high level, we have our heroine, and she basically gains this kind of like really cool power to basically see how a couple's relationship will play out when they kiss, when she sees them kiss. But it's absolutely fantastic. It's not a romance. So do not think that this is a romance. It is straight up a contemporary, but it's absolutely fantastic. If you are into Nicola Yoon or if you haven't read her books, this is a great place to start. Then up next, I have YouTube sensation Alexa Dunn and I have her debut thriller, and that is The Ivies. And this is a really twisty, turny um, YA um, thriller that does not suck, it's actually really, really good. And essentially, so in this book, we follow a group of high school students at elite school, and all of them are trying to vie for, or trying to go to an Ivy League school. Now at this school, there's only a certain amount of slots that um, the school can push for certain Ivies. So a group of girls at the school have basically determined and assign which of the girls will apply to a certain set of Ivy League schools. 
and things are going great until one of the girls ends up dead and now people think our heroine is the one who did it. This is absolutely a fun ride. I absolutely love, 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 love this book. The reveals in this book were so well done and I did not guess who did it in the end. So let me know down in the comment section down below if you enjoyed this video or if you want to see me do more recommendation videos like this that are outside the romance genre. I have tons of books that I can talk to you guys about. Just let me know. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys in a brand new video. Peace.